What's up team? Get ready to work out your lower body for today's kettlebell athlete. Leg day, one of my favorite, you know, it is my favorite actually, because every day is leg day. So for today's workout, we're gonna be doing your CNS prep. For that, we're gonna be doing a shuffle. After you do your CNS prep, we're gonna go into some power work. We're gonna be doing kettlebell squats with two kettlebells. So on that, we're gonna focus on moving nice and powerful. From there, we're gonna move into your reverse lunges. Okay, after your reverse lunges, we got your 12 minute EMOM, which is gonna consist of kettlebell swings, lateral lunges, squat jumps, and your spinal waves. So team, let's get ready. For the first thing, we're just gonna be doing a, a shuffle, okay? For this, you can just find a line or just find something, imagine that there's a line in front of you. You're gonna be doing 10 seconds of work with a 20 second break four times. So it's two minutes that you're gonna be rolling through this. So let's put that time down. Let me set it. All right, time's going, shuffle. Here you wanna move fast. All right, 20 second break. Make sure I can see my time. Remember, you just wanna move fast, wake up, get ready for what you're gonna be getting into. All right, let's get ready. You got five seconds. All right, let's hit those 10 shuffles, 10 second shuffles. All right, that's two. We got two more to go. 20 second break. All right, shake it out. Remember, move fast on these. Got five seconds left on your break. Three, two, one. All right, one more to go. Like one of my friends once said, you wanna move fast, move those feet quick, cause slow feet don't eat, and I like to eat. So let's go. Got your last one, 10 seconds, go. Woo. Let's go. Move, 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 move. Three more seconds. All right. So that concludes your CNS prep. You saw how I was moving pretty quick. My heart rate got up a little bit. Body's a little bit warmer. Now, we're gonna move in to your strength part. Okay, for your strength block, we're gonna be doing squats with the kettlebells, okay? For the squats, you're gonna be doing six squats. You're gonna be squatting nice and slow. Okay, you're gonna be moving slow, exploding up, okay? We're gonna be doing six reps. You have a minute and a half to complete those six reps, all right, guys? The remainder of that minute and a half is your break. So let's get it rolling. I'm gonna set this timer. Grab your kettlebells. All right. In three, two, one. All right. Kettlebells are up. Explode up. All right, that was six reps. Took me 30 seconds to knock out, so I have a minute break. Heart rate went up a little bit because I'm exploding out of that hole, coming up nice and strong, okay? One of the things you wanna make track of is when you're racking up those kettlebells, make sure you have a nice strong rack, okay? So you don't fold forward. So keep those elbows here, push up with those elbows, keep control of those bells so the weight doesn't take you forward and squat nice and strong. All right, shake it out, move around. Don't lose your momentum. All right. Leg days are my favorite because they're really challenging. All right, I'm gonna make this lightweight feel really heavy. So I'll get these up. Got 10 seconds left. 
Now we have five. Three, two, one. Three. One more. All right, guys. That was six reps. Have a little bit under a minute left on my break. I really want to focus on my breathing. Breathing to get my heart rate down. Because when you're really focusing on power, you really want to give it your all. So you can build more power for that next session or for that next competition that you're getting into. Okay, another thing that I like doing squats is builds nice, nice tree trunks to have a solid foundation for anything that you're doing. Not only that, you know, it's a great movement to just own in everyday life. You know, you never know when you have to pop a squat. Okay, so we're gonna be taking another 10 seconds. Get those kettlebells up. It's your last set here. Three, two, all right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six. All right, guys, put those kettlebells down. So that concludes that part of the workout. We still have a minute left on the break, but we're gonna transition into your reverse lunges. All right, reverse lunges, you're gonna be doing eight reps on each side, sticking to one side only, not alternating. All right, you'll do eight on one leg and then eight on the other. Okay, you got two minutes to complete all your reps. And then the remainder of those two minutes will be your break. All right, guys? We got another 30 seconds. You need it, especially if you're moving some weight around or even making the lightweight feel heavy. Okay, so take advantage of those breaks. They're very important. We have 15 seconds. Start getting my mind right so we crush the strength work. You know, love reverse lunges but every now and then I hate them, okay? All right, get these kettlebells up and rack. Got reverse lunges, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's put those down. I knock those out roughly in 50 seconds or so. Have the, like about a minute 10 to recover. As you can tell, I'm out of breath. It's because I'm putting in that work. And even though these kettlebells are a little bit lighter than I normally would, they're hella challenging. So if you slow it down and really focus on your form. <sighs> Another thing that I want to cue you guys on is when you're stepping back, on the reverse lunge, make sure that that knee comes down as much range as you got. Make sure to stack that top of the head with that bottom knee and hip, all right? Don't overstep it, okay? So that's gonna be what I'm gonna be looking for. <sighs> Shake it out. Whew. Got 20 seconds. <sighs> oh man, 15 seconds. Getting my mind right for this one. These are a little bit more challenging than I was thinking today so all right got five seconds i'm gonna get these kettlebells up 
All right, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, guys, let's switch over to the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. All right, let's put those down. Woo, damn. What's putting me to work? You got about a minute left. Like I said, this weight might be heavy for some, might be lighter for others, but it's definitely on the lighter side, but it's providing a hell of a challenge today. Whew. Other thing that I want to mention is when you have those kettlebells up in rack, that makes it extra challenging because if you're holding them here, it's hard to I'll get those big breaths, you know, as you would like if you had a, you know, a bar on your back, have a little bit better uh, opportunity to breathe, or if you have them on your sides. But when you have that rack, kettlebells here, they come down on you. So 25 seconds left, we're going to knock out our third, third set. As much as I love these, I can't wait to be done with them. <sighs> You can see his sweat just going through my shirt. And <laughs> we just kind of getting started. 10 seconds left. All right, I really need to get my mind right because I got two more sets of this stuff. Whew. All right, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. All right, guys. Let's put those down. We got one more set. I got a minute 10 left on my break for that last one. Whew. Remember, a lot of times people usually knock out three sets. The exercise is two or three, four for strength. It's obviously taken to the next level. So keep at it. Focus on your breathing. Let's crush this next one before we get into that 12 minute EMOM, all right, team? Woo, man, 40 seconds left. Other cues that I would want to give on these is, you know, when you're holding that rack, just like on squats, make sure that those elbows are supporting it. Don't let those kettlebells fall forward. And remember, it's just as important when you're getting those kettlebells up as when you're putting them down, right? Don't just drop the kettlebells. Don't disrespect the kettlebells like that. You know, I see some people just toss them like, come on, man, you're going to toss them like that? Get you some lighter weight. Don't be a hero. All right, we got 10 seconds for this last set. Get my kettlebells up and rack. Whew. Whew. Five seconds left. Whew. Three, two, one. Whew. Two, three, Whew. four, Whew. five, Whew. six. Seven, eight, all right, other side, one, two, three, four, oh man, five, six, seven, one more, eight, all right, let's put those down. Never thought I'd be looking forward to an EMOM than I am right now because this definitely put some work on me. So for our next part, we're going to be doing 
a 12 minute imam, all right? I'm gonna catch my breath a little bit and you know, you should too, you know, you guys still got that, that time on your break. Let's take advantage of it because I know I do, I need to. So, but while we're catching our breath, I'm gonna go over the next movements you guys are gonna be doing. First movement you guys are gonna be doing, it's gonna be a kettlebell swing, okay? We'll be doing a single arm kettlebell swing, okay? A lot of people just pick up the bell sometimes. They do this, they just start swinging it, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna have that kettlebell in front of you a little bit, tilt it a little bit on its side, make sure that arm is nice and strong. You know, hike it like a football. All right, same way it came up, I want you to put it down just like that, okay? For what I'm looking for in the swings that we're doing in this workout is I wanna see you hinging and driving through those hips, squeezing those glutes and hammies at the top, okay? So we're gonna be doing 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. After that, we're gonna be going into a lateral lunge, okay? What you're gonna be doing here, you just start center, then you're just gonna be moving to the side. Nice and slow, Whew. nice and slow. We're gonna be doing five on each side. After that, we're gonna be moving into your squat jumps. For your squat jumps, what I wanna see here is you load up those legs, jump up, catch it, reset, okay? And squat, jump up, reset, all right guys? On these, I'm not looking for maximum height, but at the same time, I'm not looking for you to only jump over the crack on the floor, okay? So put some air time into it. Don't try to set a PR for your height on jumps, but just get moving, okay? Once we're done with that, we're gonna move in to a spinal wave, okay? On the spinal wave, what I wanna see here is you're gonna drive back with those hands and then you're gonna slowly lift those shoulders back Drop those hips, and bring those shoulders down. Tuck that chin in, lift, bring it back, right there. Okay, for that, we're gonna be doing five reps. As you can tell, these are gonna be a little bit more challenging for me because I do have a lot of mass, so it's a challenge, you know, for me to like look really smooth. I try, I feel like I'm smooth, but sometimes when I look at video or something, I'm like, oh man, as good as I thought, so that's why I work on it, okay? So we're gonna be doing three rounds of each movement. We're gonna be doing 10 swings on each arm. After you do your 10 swings on each arm, we're gonna be doing your lateral lunges, five on each side. After that, you have 10 squat jumps, and then you're gonna finish that, that round with five spinal waves, okay? It's not four moves in one minute, it's one move per minute, all right? So just like all the other stuff, you're gonna be doing uh, the remainder of the minute is going to be your break. All right, guys? So let's set up that kettlebell. For this finisher here, you only need one bell. Okay, so you can move the other one off to the side. So you guys get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. You got your swings. Like I said, step back. Let's go. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. Switch over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, guys. Let's move those bell, that bell off to the side a little bit. We're going to be doing your lateral lunges in 15 seconds. Woo. Man, I'm working today. All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Two, three, 
four, five. All right, guys, go over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, guys. You got your squat jumps next, all right? Woo. These are fun. Remember, get some power behind these, but don't try to be a hero. All right, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. All right, we have 30 seconds left on our rig. We got your kettlebell, oh sorry, your spinal waves. I was trying to rush myself and get on those swings. I'm trying to get it over with. Whew. All right, 10 seconds. All right, guys, let's get ready. This is a good opportunity to catch your breath, get that heart rate back down, and keep moving strong. All right, push back. Two. One more. All right, let's bring it back. All right, you got 10 seconds. I'm not gonna lie, when I was going back, I was breathing in my shirt, so it made it a little bit more challenging than I thought. All right, so, got your swings in three, two, one, let's go. That's 10 on that side, 10 on the other. All right, got your lateral lunges next. 20 seconds left on my break. Oh, you don't think swings are hard? Then you're not swinging hard enough. We got three seconds left. We're gonna go into those lateral lunges. All right, let's get it, guys. The other side. All right, it's five on each side. We have your squat jumps next. As you can tell, like on my last set, my first reps were kind of like a lower jump, but once I start getting warm, feeling good, seem to jump up a little bit higher. So let's get it, guys. And ladies. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Got a 30 second breather. Going into those spinal waves, team. Whew. Oh man, you did some fun work. 15 seconds left, guys. You got your spinal waves in 10. All right, let's try that butt back. Scoot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. We're going to go on back to your swings here in about 20 seconds. Finish up your reps. And then we got those swings again. Whew. Last round of these. As you can tell from dripping sweat. Oh, man. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. That was 10 on that side. Let's go 10 on the other. Six. Whew. Lateral lunges next, guys. Smoothies off to the side. Ten seconds left. All right. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Other side. Your squat jumps next, team. All right, in five seconds, last set of squat jumps. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Whew, shorts are riding up. Pull those down a little bit. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one, team. Ten. All right. About to wrap it up. We're near the finish line. We have your spinal waves, all right? Remember, if you're still doing your reps, take your time on them, all right? Just make sure to have a 20 second break in between each station so that you can recover a little bit and get back to the next one. All right, three, two, one.
One more. All right, you have 20 seconds to wrap it up. Let's finish strong, team. Ooh, I'm gonna get to my feet. 10 seconds, guys. Ooh, yeah. All right, team. Last three seconds. If you're not done, let's wrap it up. All right, team. That concludes your lower body workout for kettlebell athlete. As you can tell, it was no joke. I'm sweating. And, uh, you know, heart rate got up. I was breathing hard. It was a great workout for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too.